Hey folks, uh, good to be here. Uh, I'm very happy today to present you uh, Captive Signal. Uh, this is a contest uh, we came up with uh, about four years ago with Federico. He's in call with me today and Jonathan, a colleague of us at Trend Micro. The idea of Capture the Signal is to have uh, a contest in which contestants have to reverse um, radio signals that we distribute uh, either uh, over here at conference or streaming over the internet. We wanted to make this contest uh, flexible in a way that we have both um, script kiddies or people that never got into um, reverse engineering signals to learn something as well as more advanced contestants that can uh, tackle more difficult uh, problems. Um, so we started the contest uh, uh, really in 2018 at a conference like uh, PACSEC and Hack in the Box. Uh, this is because we had contact with organizers and we were very much happy to have like a, a village in which people can show up and, uh, and play with us. And then we extend in 2019 to um, additional conference, for example, in Vancouver, as well as in Hack in the Box Amsterdam. We also uh, developed a system in Amsterdam in which contestants could play remotely in a kind of hybrid environment where they could join us uh, from, from the internet, basically. And for that, we develop a framework to be able to stream these um, signals uh, over, uh, over IP. And that came very much useful uh, over the last two years uh, due to the lockdown imposed by the regulations in which we run the contest entirely uh, over the internet. So for that, uh, there are a few challenges, um, especially when it comes to uh, in, uh, regulation of, of the fact of uh, not being able to transmit over the air. For example, when we run uh, at Hacking Box Abu Dhabi, we were not allowed to transmit these uh, radio challenges over the air. That's why we came up with the first idea of uh, voice over IP streaming. And for that, we use uh, uh, GNU Radio, and uh, Federico now is going to tell you pretty much uh, all uh, the framework we, um, we develop, both to stream the signals over there as well as to receive the signals. Especially uh, the part for receiving the signals is very much useful uh, when you want to play with us in order to connect to our uh, radio infrastructure. Okay, thank you, Marco. Um, what the framework will provide, um, is that which is the most important thing of having the CTS um, as a as a release tool? Is that the framework will take care of everything that is not focusing on a challenge that is distracting you from developing a challenge. So if you're a challenge developer um, and you want to have contestants develop um, solve your challenge, you just focus on developing a GRC flow graph as you would normally do, and the framework will take care of. Uh, tunneling and uh, dividing the spectrum into uh, slices and mapping them to uh, a port range and so on. And uh, on the other side, I will show you later, the contestants will also have support from the tool uh, to be able to receive signals as they would in a in a real in a concrete um, on site with a with a real transmitter. Um, <clears throat> What we ask the um, developers is to, as I said, focus on developing a GRC and make sure that um, you make it configurable and parametric. That's why I highlighted down there a CFG file, which contains it's a it's an init file, native format, uh, supported by GNU Radio, um, where you can specify parameters and uh, various settings uh, for your signals, so that. Um, when you deploy it and you want to change it later on, you don't have to reopen uh, GNU Radio Companion or do any heavy editing. You can simple, simply change the signal maybe to adapt it to another conference and make minor changes. And then together with that, you have the signal GRC, of course, and a few other files that are needed um, to support, for example, if you have Python requirements, and so on. And then we have a make file that uh, will automate the building, the compilation of the um, uh, GRC into Python and um, any other uh, automation that you need to do in the deployment phase. So we wanted the experience of the CTS deployer to be very easy, as easy as running Docker 
And what will happen now is that, for example, in this in this case, we have one signal up and running. But if you want, you can bring up all the signals at once and the contestants can start playing. And as I said, on the other side, the experience is very smooth um, because the contestants will run a client which will connect to a ZMQ um, streamer, essentially, on, on whatever server you want to host this. And then what they will have is a FIFO, uh, which they can use as a receiver of IQ samples. So the experience is to tune to a FIFO, if you want, which most of the tools uh, support out of the box. And then what they have is uh, that the tool will inform them of the sample rate, uh, of the sampling rate, sorry, and then they can start receiving a signal as they would be receiving it uh, with, uh, for example, in this case, GQRX or Osmocon or even GNU Radio, of course. So uh, what you will experience at uh, GRCon 2021 is unfortunately not the full uh, CTS experience, CTS experience in the sense that we don't have enough time to uh, assist you during the conference uh, because if we stream live, of course, we want to be able to uh, assist contestants in case they have any problems and so on. But unfortunately, our schedule uh, could not, uh, I mean, we couldn't change our schedule for this week. So we decided to still host it um, as, a, as an offline challenge, as an offline series of challenges, which are still uh, linked together in, in some way that you will find out while playing. Essentially, one solution to a challenge will give you hints to solve the next one and so on. So for now, what we ask you to do is to head over to cts.doomradio.org um, and uh, create an account to the scoreboard so you can start uh, reading the instructions as soon as possible and uh, hopefully have fun and play. And we hope that we'll inspire you to bring the CTS to your event. Uh, what you can do um, if you know uh, maybe you like it, you can host it. You can host your own CTS and that's why we decided to release it uh, at Black at Arsenal 2021 in the USA. And here you find a link to the full size video. It's 40 minutes where uh, Marco, myself, and Jonathan Anderson go through the details of the CTS. We explain you how the internals work, the, the little bit of story uh, of, of um, CTS, and uh, we'll explain you how you can host it. Uh, it's very modest uh, require in requirements. So with a, with a simple AWS account, and a few hundred bucks, you can run it very easily for an entire week. Thank you for watching this far and uh, have fun reversing signals.